In this video, you'll learn about working with multiple shapes in Adobe Illustrator. That includes duplicating shapes, copying and pasting shapes, there's more options than you might think, aligning shapes, selecting certain parts of your artwork, grouping shapes, editing multiple shapes at once, and more. To duplicate a shape, use the selection tool and then Option or Alt click and drag on the shape to pull out a duplicate. If you want to maintain the horizontal or vertical position of the duplicate, then hold down Shift as you're dragging. Command D does not mean to duplicate a shape in Illustrator. It means to repeat the last action. So since the last action that I just did was to duplicate a shape, I can do Command D to duplicate the shape and move it the same amount that I moved when I created that duplicate. Copying and pasting work similar to other programs, but with a couple extra options that can come in really handy. So to copy, it's just Command C, paste is Command V, and then cut is Command X. And then again, Command V to paste. Notice that when I copied this layer, it pasted it in the center of the artboard. But what if you want to copy a layer and paste it exactly where it was? It's going to be Command C to copy, and then to paste in place, it's Command Shift V. This can be useful if you wanted to, say, rotate the object, and it needed to be in the exact right place. If we go over to the layer stack, notice that when you paste in place, it pastes as the topmost layer. If you copy a layer and then do Command F, it'll paste just right in front of that original layer. So if we scroll down and find that layer, it's gonna be the one with this little box next to it. So this was the original layer that I copied, and when I did Command F, it pasted just in front of that layer. Another option is to do Command B, and that's going to paste just behind the original layer that you copied. To change the layer order of objects, first select the object, then right click and go to Arrange, and then you have options for Bring to Front, Bring Forward, Send Backwards, or Send to Back. So let's do Send Backwards. You can also use keyboard shortcuts. So Bring Forward is Command Right Bracket, and if you want to bring something all the way to the front, you can do Command Shift Right Bracket. To send a layer backwards, it's Command and Left Bracket. Keep in mind that's only moving the layer back one layer, so if you go into the layer stack, there's a bunch of layers in between this and this. If you want to bring something all the way to the back, then it's going to be Command Shift and Left Bracket. Of course, you can always go into the Layers panel to adjust the ordering of your layers, but if you haven't organized your layers yet for exporting them for animation, then it might be easier just to use the keyboard shortcuts. But you can just click and drag to rearrange layers in the Layer panel. The keyboard shortcuts to bring things forward and backward only work when those objects are within the same layer, so they're nested underneath a layer like this. If you want to bring an object into its own layer, then you can use the plus button to create a new layer, then you can select something from another layer, and you can see that something is selected in this layer by this little indicator here. Then I can take this little box and drag it up into this layer and it'll just bring that selected object into this new layer. And to rename a layer, you can double click and rename. To change the layer order, you can just click and drag. You can also use the eyeball to turn on and off layers. There's an option to lock layers so you don't accidentally select them. And you can always delete layers with the trash can. There's a couple ways that you can select multiple objects. The first way is just to select one, then hold down shift and select others. Another way is to click in an empty area and then drag over all the things that you want selected. If you have multiple layers selected, you can group them. To do that, you can right click and choose group or the keyboard shortcut is command G. Once you have a group, the whole group will move together. So you can do the, any of the transformations with the entire group. So scale, move, rotate, anything like that. If you need to get into the group to adjust individual objects, just double click on one of the objects and it will enter isolation mode. You can tell you're in isolation mode because of this gray bar at the top. Then you can adjust individual layers. To get out of isolation mode, just click on this gray bar. And this still is going to act as a group. To ungroup, just do Command-Shift-G. 
And now each one of these is on their own again. These three objects are not grouped. If I select all three of them, I can transform them all at once. Also, if you select them and group them, you can transform them all together. These objects are not grouped. If I select all of them, right click and go to transform and then choose one of these options. So I'll choose scale. I'm going to switch to uniform and let's just make them 50%. You can see that it transformed all of this as one thing. These shapes are also not grouped. I'm going to select all of them, right click, go to transform and then transform each. For this, let's also do 50% horizontal and vertical scale. And you can see how it's transforming each shape on its own. So instead of treating the whole thing like one unit, it treats each shape individually. So it maintains the spacing in between them. Another thing that's really useful to do when you have multiple different objects is to align them. Of course, you can also select and align individual shapes, but they'll just align to the artboard. So I've saved this topic until we had multiple shapes because it's a little bit more interesting to work with. So I'm going to select all of these shapes by clicking and dragging over them. And then if you don't see the align tools in your top toolbar, you can also find the align panel, which if you don't have this docked already, you can find it underneath window. So let's say I wanted to align these all horizontally, and then I want to space them all evenly. I'm going to unalign them again and show you one other thing. I'm going to select all these objects again. Last time I did align to center, but if you do align to like the most left or right or top or bottom, it's going to choose the thing that's the most that direction. So for example, this shape is the topmost. If I choose align to top, all the shapes are going to align to that topmost shape. I'm going to undo that and show you that you have a couple different options if that's not what you are going for. So say you wanted to align all of these shapes to the bottom of the artboard. If you click on this button here, you can choose to align to the artboard. Now if I click align to bottom, they're all going to go to the bottom of the artboard. And if I distribute them, they're all going to distribute across the artboard with even spacing between them. Another option is to align to a specific object. So if I select all the objects again, then select the one that I want to align to. This object will be more bold and that means that it's the key object that you're going to be aligning to. You can also see that it's switched to align to key object in the selection here. Then you can choose whichever way you want to align this. Now let's say that I want to vertically center these on the artboard. I can make sure that I'm aligning to artboard and then click this button. But what if I want to now horizontally align all of these to the artboard, but keep the spacing as is. If I click this button, because these are all individual shapes, they're all going to go to the same horizontal position, but that's not what I want. I want them to be spaced out like this. One option is to group all these shapes, so Command G, and then use the Align tool. I'm going to undo that, and I also undid the group, so now these are all individual shapes. Let's say that I didn't want these shapes to be grouped. Of course, you could group them and then just right away ungroup them, but that's a couple of steps. So another way to do that would be to select all the shapes. With these ungroup shapes, what you can do is go into the transform panel and then just type in half of the size of the artboard. In this case, it's going to be 396. And that's going to center all the shapes without having to have them grouped. I already showed you some examples of how you can select multiple objects and distribute them evenly. But what if you have different size objects? This distributes all of the objects evenly, but what if you want the spacing in between the objects to all be even? The way to do that is in the align panel. So here underneath distribute spacing, you can do this vertically or horizontally. So you can see how this adjusts the spacing between the objects so that the spacing is all equal. Now that you know how to work with multiple shapes, in the next video you'll learn about how to combine shapes to create illustrations. Thanks for watching.